Hey everyone, this is 1984 Lincoln Sand with Double Level Verse, graded in mid state 68, read by PCGS and proven by CEC. One of the finest known examples. This is a virtually perfect cherry red and lilac example that shows minor pimpling in the fields, but absolutely no post striking flows on either side. Lincoln's ear, lower beard, and bow tie are prominently doubled. It ended up selling for $2,400 at Heritage Auctions. Here is another error coin from 1980s. 1983p, Jefferson Nickel, struck on a bronze planchette, graded in mint state 65 red by PCGS. Normal 75% copper, 25% nickel, 5 cents, should weigh 5 grams. But this one has weight of only 3.1 grams, as it was struck on a wrong planchette. Upper part of the left letterings dissolve into void. Right letterings are mostly complete, but slight distortion is evident on the date. It was sold for $3,120 at Heritage Auctions. This is 1981 S Anthony Dollar in Mint State 67 Plus, super rare dollar coin with now being finer. This extraordinary piece features a bold strike, reflective fields, and brilliant lustrous surfaces. At PCGS Coinfax, Jaime Hernandez writes, of the circulation struck 1981 S Anthony dollars, in MS67 it's almost unobtainable. He wrote those words in 2011, and nothing has changed over the last decade. Sold on October 7, 2022 for $21,600 at Heritage Auctions. Here is 1956 Lincoln cent impressed on a Roosevelt dime and struck through scrap of verse. A splendid 11 cent piece that shows much of the dime undertype. The dime date is complete near 3 o'clock of the cent strike. The cent date is bold. Roosevelt faces south southwest relative to Lincoln. One dime passes through the left wheat ear. Sold on May 6, 2022 for $6,660 at Heritage Auctions. And for the last, this 1968 Roosevelt dime. Popular now as Mint Mark proof variant, graded as PR67 Cameo by PCGS, the United States Mint resumed proof set offerings in 1968 after a three year hiatus, perhaps because the special mint sets had been struck at the San Francisco Mint in the interim. It was decided to strike the new proofs at the location in 1968. Accordingly, all proofs were supposed to have an S mint mark. Dice for coinage were produced in Philadelphia and shipped to the branch mint for use in production. The S mint mark was inadvertently let off one of the dies intended for the use. On a proof dimes, a small number of dimes were struck and released with these sets before the mistake was noticed. This spectacular superb gem exhibits fully struck design elements and virtually flawless surfaces. The deeply reflective fields contrast boldly with the frosty devices and eye appeal is terrific. This copper nickel dime ended up selling for $19,200 at heritage auctions.